application and in material, 3D printing is here to stay and becoming more prevalent, if anything. So I think this conversation is becoming more and more important. Whether it's printing a keychain or manufacturing a part to help astronauts on the International Space Station, 3D printing is becoming more accessible and more common. But when it comes to the excess waste generated during the process, most of it ends up in the landfill. Sean Stevenson is a mechanical engineer and a member of the 3D printing community. He says the craft inspired his career choice and currently works for Eastcan Automation, which uses 3D printing regularly. Whether it's for hobby or business, there are currently no municipal options for recycling the printing waste. Hard to find information, uh, even harder to make the right choice when you maybe have to pay to have it disposed of in a better way than the landfill. The city of Winnipeg instructs people to throw it in the garbage. Stevenson says there must be a better way and he'd like to see the conversation started by the city. I'd love to see it, yeah. Um, even if they're not able to provide a full solution, they may be able to start a conversation or host a dialogue. An interview request with the city was not accommodated, but in a statement, the city of Winnipeg says it does not have any plans to add these materials to its recycling program at this time. It notes the 3D printing waste would require the city to prepare a business case with its contractor that would likely lead to an increase in costs. The city also says while it's unable to recycle 3D printer filament used at its public 3D printers housed in the Millennium Library, there are steps being taken to mitigate the waste effect on the environment. Some filaments, for example, are biodegradable. Should somebody be looking at this from the waste department? Yes. Should they be reaching out to people like me to find out how to make their job easier by gaining the knowledge that we already have acquired versus trying to learn it themselves? Absolutely. Alan Castell, owner of Alpha Technologies, which has a branch specifically dedicated to 3D printing, says the technology has yet to be adopted en masse and given other issues in the city, it might not be a priority when it comes to city budgets. He says right now the community is considering banding together to purchase a machine capable of recycling the waste. I think a lot of our solutions in this city, crime included, could be dealt with by the communities getting together and coming up with some solutions that are independent of our politicians. Castell says whether it's happening between municipal leaders or community members, the conversation on how to deal with the waste is an important one to have, especially as the technology becomes more of a staple in modern society. Because this is the future. Houses, cars, rocket engines. I mean, I can go, as you've seen, I can go on for days. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.